friends today I'm going to show you how to configure triggers in my SQL workbench so for the purpose I'm going to use the database called college so in college I'm going to use employee attendance so let's go into the table employee attendance here I'm going to the option called triggers here I'm going to before insert option I'm going to add so by default a template will be created in the triggers so let's start if new dot I'm just going to compare this EMP attendance underscore status This is what I am going to do. So if school attendance underscore status is equal to cat iPhone leave, then I'm going to insert that value into EMP underscore leave in this table. Uh, leave type in this Yeah, I'm going to insert it. So just a minute. I So let's apply. So this is the trigger code which I am applying. I'm just going to apply it. So it is showing some error. Let's see. So actually this is the original code. So the EMP underscore attendance underscore status is the varca. Uh, it is a normal value and here it is also a var care that is a EMP underscore leave underscore type is a var care value so it can be a null value so what I'm going to do is if the EMP underscore status underscore is equal to casual leave if this data was casual leave then it will insert a value 
these values into the EMP leave table. So let's check it out. I am going to the columns and I am going to I am going to add the data to this table. Just give it as Actually, I need to edit here. So, so put the filter in the right hand side. Just accept it, and here you can just simply give uh, for that I will open the employee leave, and here you can see. today and it should be in this format and let it be one so be the unique value here so it will automatically update so I'm just going to queue apply just select apply and the SQL command was executed successfully. You can go to employee and there. And here the data was updated successfully. I'm just going to refresh. Yeah, it was updated successfully. Sorry, it was not updated. Just a minute. It was not updated with the current date. Let's try it again. Yeah, I have the PID now. Now I will try to execute it. It's not updating. Just a minute. Let's go to the result. Yeah. Let's execute the query. Yeah, it was updated successfully. Now let's check. Yeah, so I will just update it again. So give it as one on the data as one six so you can So I just apply and apply. So the statement was executed successfully. Right now put the result grid and execute the query. And here it was updated successfully. And the employee leave and execute the query. And if you see here it was updated successfully. So I'll try to run another query. One twenty seven. So just select okay. Here you can see instead of I have given a sick leave. 
so select apply and run the query it has actually better successfully and the data was executed the command was executed and the data was inserted successfully now you can go to the employee leave and execute the query here you can see it was not inserted here. so this is how you will use the triggers to insert or after insert or before update or after update or before delete or after delete so the same principle is used for all these triggers so you can use it wisely and you can do more and more things with the help of the ticker so if you have any doubt you can just comment me and uh, mail me because I am working on a table in a project which was constant which was fully of triggers only so any doubts subscribe and comment or email me I will just help you out so thank you for watching the video.